It is Saturday. Yes, it is. It's Saturday. The vlog is uploading. A little bit late, but it is. See, it's processing 0%. Revlin is being fed over there, so you can't see. Hello there, people of the... Well, he already said that. Sorry. Hello, Flutter fam. How are you guys doing? Good. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> She's ready to go. We're going out. I don't know if we'll vlog. I don't think we've talked about it since like way when we first started, but we take part in a leadership group, and so that's where we're going tonight. And I took out my pre-pregnancy clothes. Super excited. But I am still wearing my maternity pants. Only one, fair, one pair of my pre-pregnancy pants fit, but it's not like super comfortable. But to be fair, they were kind of tight before I was pregnant. I probably should have gone up a size. So Revlin will currently only not cry if Ryan holds her. And so he's dancing with her. Look at her, just keeps on getting better with her hand in mine. So we're walking by the shore, I've got something to say. But words can't describe the way that I feel when I look in her eyes, cause... So proud. Loki's here. Levi's not, but Loki is. And we have a baby sleeping. Well, she's partly really awake because she's sucking on her pacifier. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Oh, that's a His tongue feels weird. Does it? Like compared to Levi's, yes. Can you touch? Can you touch? Oh, good boy. Touch. Oh, and a brace. Got the door open, put his hand through the window to use the ATM. <laughs> I think he's confused. I mean, I know it's because he's far away, but it's just funny. Oh, okay, so we left, and I wanted to say that you might notice on Loki's neck, he has like this, uh, like a big patch of hair missing. It looks like he's got like, it looks like someone abused him. He has cysts, and that's something that we have found that he actually does have. Um, and so, no, he's not getting abused. <laughs> he has cyst issue on, only on his neck. So my mom is working through it and there's like a surgery that she can do but it's not for sure that it will work out. So we don't know if we're going to try that or not just because it's not 100% sure and it doesn't hurt him or anything. That's just kind of, there. it's just there, yeah. So, but I wanted to point that out in case someone was like, are you hurting your dog? Like, no, he's got cysts on his neck. But um, today, Ryan has just informed me that we're starting the cash envelope system. So in my hand... We have money. a bunches of money because when we get home, we're putting them all into envelopes and we now start the cash system. And the first purchase with our cash system is Culver's. <laughs> Ice cream. Well, because Ryan said that this week he's going to bring me home drama juice, but he I forgot. forgot. <laughs> I forgot, did. He forgot, so we're doing Culver's instead, which is fine. And so we're getting that. Do you know what you want? Uh, yes. For home, and as you can see, this one is excited. <laughs> I don't think you can get to her that way, Dave. <laughs> and Revan's just being cute. Oh, you're following. Oh, you're following, huh? Oh, you're following him? <laughs> now you're looking at me. Yeah, she, she got distracted by her beautiful mommy. She got little gold ears. Oh, gold ears? Wanted to ask you guys, if you guys live in an apartment and have dogs or pets in general, do they know when you get home? Like, without fail, every time we, well, since Levi's been staying home, because Daisy, she didn't care, she would just sleep. She wouldn't get up until we were actually in the door. But when they're both home, they know when we get home. Whether, like, we just walked in, we did not talk at all when we were in the hallway. And I'm yet, used to this. I know. 
whenever Ryan gets home from work because the dogs know by the sound of the door, like to come into the apartment building, opening, they know his open compared to everyone else's. It's kind of weird. Yeah, right. so they're always right at the door as soon as we open it. He's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Like they will be at the door, and we op we open the door pretty quick. Like we're we're able to unlock it and open it within like a second. And so I mean, it's not like it's enough time that if they're laying over here, they can get up and run over the door. Like they are at the door by the time we get to the door. It's crazy. So I want to know if any of your pets are like that and can tell. Good. <laughs> you scare her. Well, I guess she's not crying, so she's fine, but... <laughs> it startles her. It's crazy to see just natural human ref reflexes. <laughs> like, <laughs> grab something, quick! Do you want to say hi, Flutter fam? Look at the camera. Rev. Hey. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, you totally look like Finch right now. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 Can you name that song? I don't think you can. I disguised it pretty well, I think. I don't know if you can really tell, but I am styling right now. I've got my dress shirt, some gym shorts, and I think I'm pretty much starting a new style here. Oh, and look. Well, my mom found and bought for us crispy M&Ms. Hey, no, 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 we don't cry, no, we don't cry, we don't cry, we don't cry, no, we don't cry, no. I'm pretty sure we are like the only ones that aren't at Playlist Live right now. And it's kind of a bummer. But you know what? That's okay because we are going to be at VidCon in July, and then I don't think we're going to be at Vlogger Fair, but who knows. But then we will most likely be at Playlist Live next year. So that'll be fun. Huh. Won't that be fun and you can meet all the Flutter fam? If any of you are at, I doubt you're watching this if you are at Playlist, or if you went to Playlist, actually... You won't even see this till Monday anyway, so. If you went to Playlist Live, let us know in the comments below. And let us know who you got to see and all that. Because I'm interested to know. It's <laughs> Sunday and we're at Ryan's parents. And what do we do when we're at Ryan's parents? We play Settlers. And we'll let you guys know who wins this time no matter who it is. By the way, last time Ryan won the first game, I won the second. Because someone asked if Ryan didn't win because we didn't say who won. <laughs> oh, did it? I must not have seen it. <laughs> I think it's on Facebook. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. I thought you didn't well, say just because. Yeah. Dad said the only time to tell me. She's sleeping. Well, in that vlog, I edited that one and I cut out a part from Saturday night after I won both games about me just bragging that I won all the time. Well, that's but very I did, polite. I didn't of leave you. that in. <laughs> it's very <laughs> polite of you. Roll the Would you like to tell them who won the game? I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> See, they try and paint me in a corner and make me look like I'm a bad guy. <laughs> I would never do that. They're ganging up on me. Okay, to be he fair, you have to get to 15 points to win. He had like 11 or 12 points and we all had 5. Like around 5. So, yes, we ganged up on him. You have to admit, though, that even though you're winning, I put up a good fight against you. Ariana really was awesome at the end. She was using a very good strategy and frustrating <laughs> me very much. <laughs> But Patrick did win, and now I think we're playing another game. Oh, I totally just drooled all over you. You were smiling. <laughs> you can tell Dad drooled on her. Yeah, oh, there you. Smile. You want to do again? That's a smile. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> Oh, are you are Jeez. you kicking? You really drooled on her. Shh. You're not supposed to show them. Ah, I was smiling. <laughs> ah. Ah. We are home now. 
and we have some news for you. So, a bit of crazy timing, but super early this morning, at like 1 a.m. or something, Yeah. we reached 15,000 Flutter fans. One, five, zero, zero, zero. Yes, 15,000 of you guys are subscribed to Our Little Life. Why? I don't know. But thank you. <laughs> but that's not the crazy part. Well, that is crazy. But the craziest part is that today is also exactly a year since the day the video of me singing down the Isle de Ryan went viral. Not the day we uploaded, the day it went viral. So basically the day that all of this YouTube craziness started, it's it happened a year ago today. And we hit 15,000. That's just crazy. Mm-hmm. And we can really just really have to thank you guys Yep. because I mean we the only reason we started daily vlogging is because you guys that saw the wedding video and then started watching what do we have like you like had a few, few songs up and like the husband tag yeah we did like a, a tag or two and then she had a few cover songs up before the video went viral and but then you guys once it went viral you guys kept asking for us to do daily vlogs mm -hmm. and that's really why we started yep. so Thank you, and it's crazy to see that a year later we're at 15,000 subscribers now. Back then we used our iPhones uh -huh. to film all the videos. Yep. Huh. And now we got this one. Huh. You're so pretty. Look at that nice head of hair. Your hair looks a lot darker in the camera than it does. Yeah, it's like really, like really does. light brown. Let's see if we can get like a, a good... Uh, you can st you can kind of see how light it is. We stopped at the P.O. box and got a few packages. Yes. Shall we open them? Sure. Oh. Well, one of these packages is from Brittany, too. And Joe. Oh, yes. Brittany, Brittany and, and Joe. Joe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that she just neglected to say your name. I didn't know Brittany, you make sure you let him know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh, I see oh. Valentine's Day candy. Speebers, do you want Levi. some Valentine's Day candy? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, buddy. Go. Get your slobbery mouth out of here. That's gross. Sit some. That's really gross. Sit some. Plots. Alright. Cards up first. The Fletters. Also, we did hit our minimum for our t-shirts, so they are going to be ordered. Those of you that have pre-ordered so far, you will be charged on the 16th. 16th. So that's Monday. Not, not tomorrow, but Monday. a week from tomorrow. Yes. So they are going to be ordered. And for those of you that still want to reserve, you can still reserve. Even if we hit 50, you guys can still reserve more than that. So the link will, it has been and will be down in the description box till the 16th. Um, and it's on the screen. I got a fancy card. <laughs> that little exclamation point in the top right corner. I think you can only see it though if you're on a desktop. Probably. That will take you too. But also, a lot of you asked about kids shirts. That is something we're still um, considering doing, but it will be through a different site, I believe, yeah. because we can't do it through Teespring. I see that Teespring. you can do it through Teespring, but I think it's only available to certain people. Strange. And I'll have to find out how. So, this was from Brandy Grigsby, and it's a Happy Valentine's Day card. Woohoo! And it says, the onesie is for Revlin. You're alright. You're okay. The candy is for you. You are the first vloggers I ever subscribed to watch. You're funny and enjoyable and I watch every day. God bless. Hope it's filled with laughs and good times. Brandy and family. Brandy's Paradise. She has a YouTube channel as well. Which I have not checked out yet. But go check out Brandy's Paradise. We got some sweethearts. Ooh, them are good stuffs. Mm -hmm. And a little onesie. Oh. <laughs> Do you like this meeper? Do you want to put your sister in it? Yeah. Cute. So thank you very much, Brandy. And Revelyn will get to wear this on the Valentine's Day. She loves it already. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Brandy. And Brandy is from Ohio, I believe, right? She is from Hubbard. Hubbard, Ohio. It's and really some of you are probably wondering where Daisy is at. She's in her crate because she did a no-no while we were gone. Mm -hmm. So she's got to live with the consequences right now. <laughs> in her crate. Yep. 
and this one is from Andrea Jeffers. And in Ohio as well. Ohio man. Today is the Ohio day. Flutter fam represent in Ohio. <laughs> we just read the letter from Andrea, or Aunt, I don't know, I've seen, we know somebody that's named Andrea, spelled the same way, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. So I don't know if it's Andrea or Andrea. Either way, thank you. And she has a dog as big as Levi. That's a lab. Yeah, he's pure black lab. That and is a big 120 lab. 120 pounds. Levi's 125, but he's lab during Shepherd Great mm -hmm. Pyrenees. You're a big boy. Yo, big mix. You big mix, huh? That is really big for a lab, though. Yes. That's a big that guy. That is huge. Alrighty. First up, little socks. Which socks are always great? Kidgets. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Here That's you go. Really Hold your stuff so you can say thank you. Then she's got some little bows. Make sure you hold it and say thank you. This little onesie. And this Do you see little this? sleeper. He just had his head resting on that. Did he? Yes. And this little, that one's cute. <laughs> little sleeper. Uh -huh. And this little onesie. And a picture frame. Oh, that's a nice picture frame. For you, miss. And she and made, she this, made blanket. this blanket. It's nice. Oh, this will be really nice for summer when it, so it's a little breezy. Yeah, not too warm. Say huh. thank you. Say thank you. We just piled all stuff on her. <laughs> I didn't really pile it on. <laughs> thank you very much, Andrea. Andrea, we appreciate it. And Revelyn appreciates it too. Huh, miss? You say thank you? Thank you. You'll get there one day. Say thank you. You'll get there one day. So, a lot of you guys know who Brittany is, Bits of Paradise, here on YouTube. She is one of our good friends, and her and her husband sent us a, um, we did Christmas gift exchange, and she opened ours a while back on her channel, which I will link that vlog of hers that she opened it in down below in the description box so you can watch her opening our gift. So I'm going to open her gift because she lives in Colorado. We don't get to, like, open gifts together. So the wonderful YouTube world that we are involved in. We open it so that we can watch it later. Levi's looking at the treats. Oh my. Bless you, bless you. I gotta tell you though, Brittany, when we first picked this up, we thought it was the same box that we sent the stuff into you. That was that the one that I Jimmy rigged, you know, that looked kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but we realized it wasn't. It looked too nice and neat. It says merry and bright. Because it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna read it quick. As she wrote on the top. Merry Christmas, although if you know me, Christmas is probably over. <laughs> so, she had a wonderful card. Thank you, Brittany. And now we will get into, what is it? First I'm going to read this, because I don't know if I'm supposed to read this. A bag filled with a fave of, a few of my favorite things for one of my favorite people. Happy birthday. Okay. And the bag looks like it accidentally ripped open in shipping. Oh, no. All right. Uh-oh. Huh? First up, we have a dog toy. <laughs> Okay, but Hold on, you gotta be patient. Are you making noises over here? Here you go. All right, buddy, get it. Oh, he's got the toy. This is a good one, Brittany. Levi likes it. And oh, Daisy will rip it up. Found it. Here, I gotta take it just for a few minutes, okay? It's too loud for filming. He's so sad. She got us a gift card to Olive Garden. Ooh, Levi. He's trying to get it. <laughs> buddy, 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 That's buddy, buddy. This is. I noticed. Ooh. Ryan's favorite can. Okay, one thing about Brittany that I found out while she was here is that she actually, in her phone, when she hears something that some something that one of her friends likes or doesn't like or something, she writes it in the notes section of her phone. So when she needs to do gifts or something like that, she can just open it and she already has all these ideas. Which I thought was genius because I mean like you get to a point where you're like, Well, anybody would give like what the heck do I get them? But throughout her entire friendship with people she keeps track of like when they say they like something or they don't like something. So I thought that was neat. But Ryan loves sour gummy, mm -hmm. as everyone knows. And this place I saw her talk about in a video, apparently they have like really good candy. And then we have an ornament, looks like. Oh, and more candy, I see. Yep. Oh that's pretty. Levi. 
Come on, bud. There we go. Focus. Can you see it's got little gems yeah. on it too? That's really pretty. And it was, it looks like through shipping, Brittany, it did not come <sighs> as pretty as you packaged it because <laughs> it fell off. And then these. USPS, what do you expect? Yep. Gummy fruit salad. What is that? That's going to be good. Hey, buddy. Then, ooh, what? Oh, what the heck? Ooh, this thing's like. It's sturdy. Tough. So this is going to be a daisy tester toy. Oh my goodness, that, yeah. Yeah, she should not be able to get through that. Maybe the rope, but not the actual rubber stuff. Brittany insists that I need to try lipstick. So I'm guessing that's why she puts this in here because she wants me to try and wear lipstick. I've always wanted to try one. It's not that I don't like lipstick, it's that I'm scared to try it. And that I won't kiss her if she's wearing it. <laughs> I guess I need to get more girlfriends around my area so I can go out and then wear it then. Because you won't be with me. There you so. go. I've worn lipstick and when I did musicals and stuff. I was a fork in Beauty and the Beast. And she's wearing lipstick. And I'm wearing lipstick. And I had black hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is me. Black short hair, mind you. And I think it's different when you're wearing stage makeup because you're like wearing a heavy amount of makeup. You just, like, it's not strange. It doesn't feel strange. Because it just feels strange all together because you're wearing so much makeup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little mini clipboard with little sticky notes. Oh, that's cool. That's, that is nice. That's really neat. It says, keep calm and write on. And if you know, I fold our shirts with a clipboard, so you'll probably fold smaller things with this. Oh. So this is, I think, supposed to be what my birthday gift was. And see, it came with an impact in um, shipping. Right. So she says, it's business. a bunch of her favorite things. So. Beauty Blender. I'm super excited. Did you see I pointed this out to you? No. Oh, no. Yep, I think you well, I we do remember. we were in Sephora, I think. Yeah. So I'm super excited to try that out. And Brittany is, she does a lot of beauty videos and stuff as well on YouTube. And so she knows a lot about this stuff. Hey, what you whining about over there? So this is Philosophy Spray Fragrance. So it's like a perfume. Ryan just ate a gummy worm. Insisted on opening it. And is it like really good? It is really good. <laughs> so um, she got this fragrance, which I smelled it while I was waiting for him to eat, get open his gummy worms, and it smells really good. I've never smelled anything by Philosophy, but I've heard about the brand, obviously. And this smells really good. This is the scent I'm guessing. Love swept. The original detangling hairbrush. What is this? So this is actually something I've never seen on YouTube, and I'm sure that's probably someone showed it. If not, Brittany, you need to do a video about it because I have never heard of this, but this sounds genius. But it's the original detangling hairbrush. I'm guessing you use it when your hair is wet, obviously, so that you can get the tangles out. Can we use on wet or dry hair without hmm. any pulling or yanking? That's fancy. Neat. Next up, CoverGirl Lip Perfective. Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. I have not heard of this either, but I'm guessing it's a lip gloss balm. Because that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clueless about this stuff, guys. Alright, Smith's Rosebud Solve. And then, one last thing is, I'm guessing it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Oh, and it's from Target, which... When Brittany was here, we went to Target and we ended up getting coats. And I've never bought clothes from Target. And I didn't realize how many cute clothes they had. And she said that like a majority of her wardrobe is actually from Target. And I told her that I needed to shop with her because the few times I had gone to look at things at Target, I never found anything good. Um, and so now I have an item from Target. Except for when we were just at Target. There were a few items that we passed by. And she's like, oh, this is so cute. The issue is that... I don't just go like, if I see something I like, I don't just buy it to buy it. Like, I specifically go out to buy clothes if I need clothes. Mm -hmm. And whenever I go to buy clothes when I need them, I don't find something I like. But then when I don't need anything, I'm just like, ooh, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. It's like a never-ending issue. <laughs> well, the little is sleeping. And I think it's time to end the vlog, because I know we have plenty of footage for this weekend. <laughs>
Yesterday's question of the day. Do you have any allergies? I do have allergies. I'm allergic to cats. And then I just get like the seasonal allergies from the all the outside changes. Mm -hmm. But that's it. I am lactose intolerant, though I don't really listen to it because it's not as bad as it was when I was younger. Um, and it's usually during season change. I haven't figured out why. I think it might be because possibly um, a difference in what the cows eat when it changes from seasons. I don't really know. But um, that's one thing. I'm allergic to penicillin. I'm allergic to long-haired cats. I'm allergic to long-haired dogs. They have different dander. I don't know. I am allergic to... Oh, what's that vaccine I'm allergic to? Uh, Tdap? I'm allergic to the Tdap vaccine. I am allergic to <laughs> bee stings. I'm allergic to... That's it. I think that's it. I have asthma too, so... Certain times of the season, I'll have more issues, though, as well. But yeah. I think that is it. Reading some of your answers, I felt, like, really bad for you guys. Yeah. Like, some of the foods you're allergic to, it's like, oh, my goodness, I can't imagine that. I mean, you guys are used to it by now, I'm sure. But still, it's kind of a bummer. But you feel, guys obviously yeah. get through it perfectly fine. I would feel worse if you guys got allergic to those food items after, after you already like ate them at an age that you really understand how they taste. Yeah. That would be so hard. You're not allergic to anything. And this one has yet to be allergic to anything. That is going to be the end of we the vlog. We just a need question. a question. <laughs> oh, my mother insisted on this question. So I'll ask my mother's question of the day. If you had to be named after a city, state, or country, what would you be named after? What would you want to be named after? Uh-huh. What would you want to be named after? So that's going to be today's question of the day, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! I'm downright determined to make sure this vlog isn't boring. Make sure we're not just sitting in bed the whole time. Hi, babies.